Angelique. Uh -huh. Welcome to the Treehouse. <laughs> Thank you. I accept your challenge. <laughs> I worked so hard on this in secret, and I know I should be over at 423 North Railway, but I thought this would be more fun. And uh, the great thing about EFT tapping is that you can take it anywhere, because these are portable. Awesome. So, I'm excited. <laughs> my challenge to you was to let's tap through some of that fear of heights. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, uh, emotional freedom technique, or EFT tapping as it's called, is just gentle tapping on meridian points. So I'm going to take off my glasses because I need to get to these meridian points okay. and throw them over there on the branches. So uh, we're going to start by gently tapping on the what's called the karate chop points. So you're just going to tap on this and you can see your affirmation three times that even though I have this fear of heights, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this fear of heights, I completely Love and, love and accept myself. Even though I have this fear of heights. Even though I have this fear of heights. I completely love and accept myself. I completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this fear of heights. Even though I have this fear of heights. I completely love and accept myself. I completely love and accept myself. And now we're going to tap right here, just on the bone in the corner of your eye. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. Side of the eye, right on the bone, in a little bit. And then just a little bit. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. Under the nose. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. On the chin. This, this fear, fear of heights. heights. That yawning. Is you releasing some of that fear? Ooh. Collarbone. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. I call the monkey one under <laughs> the arm. <laughs> right where the bra strap would be. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. One more monkey. This fear of heights. Like gentle raindrops on the crown chakra. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. Again, one more time. This fear of heights. This fear of the heights. eye. This fear of heights on the side of the eye. This fear of heights. Under the nose. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. This fear of heights under the chin. Above the chin. This fear of heights. Collarbone. Mm. This fear of heights. This fear of heights. Under the arm. This fear of heights. The sphere of heights. <clears throat> the sphere of heights. The sphere of heights. Okay, I want you to take a nice deep cleansing breath in. Letting go of that fear. One more deep breath in. And one more breath because I like everything to be in threes. In. So I went on a scale of one to ten, one being very afraid and ten being, or one being not very afraid at all and ten being very afraid, where would you put that fear of heights? So ten being like the fear. The fear. You're definitely afraid. You can never come up in this tree house. I'd say, I've been working on this a little bit too, so I would say I'm probably at about, the first number that came to my head was a one, but I really want to say a three. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Because I, it's the fear of coming out of the treehouse when I have to turn myself around to climb down the ladder is where yes is, that. is where the still I feel that that so you can just, be up here. The fear yeah. is that transition yes from being here now to getting to the ladder, which often is where our fear comes from. I think is those transitions from from one level to the next or mm -hmm. so because being up here, I'm I'm secure. I'm there's a floor beneath me. I feel okay, but when I feel like it's time for me to leave. How am I going to flip myself around to get, I just wish there was nice stairs that just, <laughs> would just go down. Well, <laughs> so this was a quick is. slap together tree house <laughs> and uh, that that would be a ways, but I think it would be easier would we continue for us to continue a couple more sessions and work on that fear of transitioning, which might open up a whole new, new thing. So I'm, I'm glad that you can be here and you're at a one. So one way we can get rid of the one is we can tap right here just above your between the baby finger knuckle and the next finger tap on that and I want you to look straight ahead close your eyes open your eyes look all the way down and then very slowly raise your eyes to the ceiling and then take a deep breath how do you feel about being in this treehouse now 
Where's your fear? <laughs> I want to say it's a zero because that's what the first thing that I feel, but then I'm always like, I feel that, but then I feel like it's not okay to let it go. Like I'm, I'm almost like I've... Well, you've I'm, been carrying that with you for a long time. Right. And it's, um, even when we have fears and anxieties about things and we're trying to let them go, there's comfort in having them because okay. I believe that it does take a while. So I think if you just continue tapping, continue working on that, uh, another thing you can do when it comes up is just there's a spot here that when you rub it, it feels, it's called the tender spot. You can actually oh, yeah. feel it. Mm -hmm. So you can just think about that fear of heights and rub on that. And that can be something you can do and really nobody would even notice or mm -hmm. just think, oh, she must have a... So that's something that I do sometimes too is I, it'll, it, when it crops up, I mean, it's taken, it didn't come there overnight. I know you told me as a child, you jumping off of falls <laughs> and jumping off of this and jumping off of that. So EFT is really amazing and it can help clear some of, the, clear some of those blocks really quickly. But... Um, it's okay that it takes a while. And I think we've, you've come a long way because I've known you for a while. Mm -hmm. And to say that you're at a zero, but I really kind of want to go back to one, that's a huge step for you. Yeah. And I will continue to work with you until we get that down to a zero because I don't think I should leave you until it is. Awesome. Thank you. I look forward to our next session. Thanks, everyone. And that's a little bit about EFT. Where's my lollipop? <laughs> Oh, right. I want to say thanks to Rosetta for bringing me up into her tree house here today. And uh, I make these bubblegum lollipops. And just because we're being childlike and we had discussed before the video about where the fear came from and all of those, those background of the history of that, I wanted to share a little bit of something childlike with Rosetta. So I want to give her a bubblegum flower. Thank you very much, Rosetta. Thank you, Angelique. Thanks, everyone, for checking out this video. And... Um, you know, if you need AFT, come see Rosetta and um, she can help you work through those walls. And um, here's to me transitioning out of the treehouse. Have a good day. Thank you.